The structure of the platform work plan has changed. This was a result of the board meeting, the board retreat in October of last year, when we thought, how can we be more strategic in the way we go about doing our business? And less, let's say, um, uh, only focus, less focused, or not less focused, but using our work streams, our thematic work streams, to provide inputs at different levels. So at that retreat, the board uh, agreed, and I hope everyone can agree to this, on, a, let's say, slightly redefining the objective of the platform. And um, the, uh, the way we defined it now was that the platform actively promotes effective policy, public and, pri and public and private and domestic investment in rural development as a central element of the international sustainable development agenda in three ways. One, advocating with policy and decision makers. Two, sharing knowledge among platform members and all relevant actors. And three, facilitating networking and cooperation with and between all relevant actors. It sounds a bit wet, vague sometimes when you're talking about relevant actors, but um, uh, we were getting towards, let's say, defining which partners are key partners, which kind of partnerships we would like to develop. Um, throughout the coming years. So the structure of the work plan is now not defined by the, a thematic focus, but is actually defined by these functions that the platform has. Um, the, the base of the pyramid is the function of networking and cooperation. This is a fairly loose function where you say, uh, in a sense, it's, it's what brought, brings us together here, to, to be able to liaise with, with each other on any topic we want to liaise on with the person we would like to talk to. It doesn't have to fit into a specific thematic focus and it's what we do during the coffee breaks, getting to know people and those kinds of things. So it's a, it's a very important function and it creates alliances between groups of members and leads to other uh, results at, let's say, a higher level in the platform. Then we go to a more focused approach in terms of knowledge sharing. This is very similar to, let's say, the thematic work that we've done in the past and that will, of course, continue on throughout this work plan. It's saying, okay, there are a number of things that we would all like to know or certain groups would like to know more about and we will organize around those we will organize around those themes and maybe even get to the point of, let's say, having a specific group working on a specific theme. Um, one step higher, you know, we're, we're starting to talk about targeted advocacy. And this is very much also related to, let's say, um, uh, specific events or the need to, to have some com uh, consolidated input to the international agenda. Um, this is, uh, this is the, let's say, uh, a level where you, you move from the, the knowledge sharing and the common understanding of the issue into, uh, let's say, what kind of messages do we want to get across. And then we have a strategic initiative. We thought it would be good to go one step further if you're talking specifically about a work plan and to say, okay, are, can we agree on one or more strategic initiatives? And for 2014, of course, it was the post-2015 agenda that we were talking about, um, but also a few other, but it has to be quite limited, a few other issue, uh, upcoming events, which we feel are important. For example, the AU Summit on Agriculture, for example, the UN Year of Family Farming. But we don't want to keep to make this too broad because we know that uh, we simply don't have the capacity to, to, to work on, uh, let's say, 10 different uh, events. Um, then going to the work plan and then now going from the top of the pyramid down, um, the work plan was actually uh, designed with inputs from 17 members. We sent it out late last year, and 17 members responded and provided inputs to the work plan. So I think you'll find here that, um, uh, of course, starting at the top of the pyramid, 
that the post 2015 and SDG process is something we really have to invest invest a lot of time and energy in, and the um, uh, a number of outputs have been suggested to achieve that target. But I think we've had quite an extensive discussion uh, just now, so that we can uh, we can maybe even be more precise about the specific outputs because we have to produce that in the next few months. And then the other events, we, we felt there is a, a certain need for advocacy um, within certain, type, certain events and consultations, and um, that that should also, uh, that we should define a number of outputs related to that. The second outcome is in terms of the knowledge exchange. Um, it's, it's a question of disseminating knowledge and knowledge sharing. It's not developing knowledge. It's, it's, it's a little bit like the uh, initiative to, um, to think about upscaling, to think about certain themes. Um, the livestock group is specifically mentioned. The issue of land and poverty is specifically mentioned. The nutrition work is specifically mentioned. So um, there again, we have a, a number of activities foreseen uh, in 2014, which were suggested by members. Um, also developing certain tools that we can use to, uh, to share this type of knowledge. Um, the Land Project uh, database, was, which was launched yesterday, is an example. The livestock mapping tool is an example. Um, and the contract farming, which was also uh, discussed is another example. Um, the, uh, one of the things we're very proud of in 2013 were the joint donor principles on common ground. And this is seen as a, as a, as a let's say, a, a, a product which is always developing. So one of the suggestions made was to include rural advisory services, include the next chapter on rural advisory services. But there may be other suggestions. Um, obviously, we would, we would want to include a separate chapter on the territorial approaches because um, I get the feeling that everyone agrees that this is an important aspect. Uh, a number of other, let's say, outputs um, related more to the membership. What are we doing? How are we doing it? What are our policies? a number of road shows so that members who are less familiar with the work of the platform can actually um, bring the platform inside their buildings, let's say, and, um, and have a broader discussion within their own institutions. Then at the base of the pyramid, the networking function, uh, that's the AGA, that's the a number of side events, um, that's um, also engaging in a membership strategy, um, more engagement with the Asia re Pacific region and also developing partnerships. There was an initiative last year to, let's say, define how we want to uh, identify partners. Then a few words about the governance issues. Um, we already mentioned, I think, that in 2014 we will be conducting an evaluation, a fairly extensive evaluation of the platform, which should lead to a, a new strategic plan. And um, I think that's an important exercise where we will also be looking at the governance structures and how the, uh, and whether they're still fit for purpose or whether a certain number of governance arrangements within the platform needs to be changed. I think I can leave it at that and um, hand over to Sam to lead us in the discussion. Maybe one last point, apologies for that. Um, I, this is a, an example of a process sheet, which means that for every activity, every output that is mentioned, there will be a process sheet developed to, uh, uh, to explain exactly how this, this will be implemented, who is involved, what events are involved, and also what the budget will be.